as you can see on my backup camera, maybe a couple months ago, it started to get real cloudy and distorted. Uh, pretty much in the center, not able to see anything peripherally either. either. So today what I'm going to be doing is changing the camera. Uh, I've never done it before. Uh, hopefully I won't make too many mistakes along the way. And next time um, I show this uh, screenshot, it hopefully it'll be clear. What I came to learn was that there's these panels that go up here like this. And they all pop up. There's one on this side, one on this side, and lo and behold, there's a big one in the middle. Didn't even think to look at it. And as a result, looking at it, if I move this insulation, guess what that is? That white thing right there, that's the camera that I have to remove. So easy and accessible. And like I said, I started taking this off, thinking that this panel would have to come off. I made a mistake of looking at someone else's video supposedly for a 2015 Jeep Cherokee, and that wasn't the case. Okay, after getting the cover off, putting the clip, and if I pull the wire, the cable comes right off, and the camera is left up there. Can't tell if it's out of focus or not. But that's what we have to do. Now it looks like there's two Phillips screws in place on either side of it. I'll get a screwdriver, take this off. But actually looking at it closer, it actually takes a star socket. It's not a Phillips head screwdriver to undo them. So I'll use this, take off two screws, and we'll see if it comes right off. And there you go. It popped right out. It's in my hand right now. So we'll replace it with the new one which is right here. And hopefully we'll have a nice clear picture once uh, I get everything hooked back up. Okay, the camera that I'm going to be using is provided by MT Master Tailgaters. It's uh, not a uh, Jeep Chrysler part, Mopar part, but um, the reviews say it works just as well. So hopefully um, won't give me any troubles down the road. And there you have it. The cable snaps right back on. And it should be good to go. Both of the uh, star screws are installed. And I'll uh, go up to the front of the car, start her up, drop the gate, tailgate down, and see if I can see out the back. And there you have it. Perfect view, no blurriness. I can see this peripheral everything, got a little bit of sun glare on it, which is good. And I'm happy I got it done. Till next time.